Hey guys, so in this video, I want to share with you my experience with using AI tools for coding. Now, like many of you, I've used things like ChatGPT, Copilot, and uh, Claude to kind of speed up my workflow. But I recently started to notice a few bad things. It, I'm becoming, as you can expect, super reliant on it. And I'm finding myself really unable to write a line of code without just waiting or pausing and waiting for it to complete that sentence, which really sucks. It also made coding a bit boring, and it stole that joy you get from solving some complicated problem, and it became more about just finishing a task as quickly as possible without really going through the process of like thinking and researching and then solving something. It just became such a kind of robotic thing. So I decided to make some changes, and it's why I'm making this video. It's to encourage you to try to you know, stop all these AI tools for like a week and see if you can code. If you can, then amazing, keep doing it. But if you can't, maybe consider changing your workflow a little bit because we're losing this gift. We're losing this ability to write some good code and just enjoying the process of solving problems. So here's how I'm addressing this issue for myself, at least. I am disabling Copilot and I'm stopping things, uh, or I'm stopping using things like Avante, Cursor, or whatever tool that understands the full context of the project. And I'm completely switching to using something like Raycast AI to essentially chat with something and not really um, have it solve something for me. It's more about asking a question and going back and forth. So the way I'm using it is I would ask a question. I try to describe the problem as much as I can, and then I'll kind of see the answers and go back and forth until I feel like I know exactly what I'm trying to do. After that, I will go to my editor and try to write the code and then see if it works. And if so, then I got my answers. Also, I've noticed that by using this kind of chat thingy, I'm able to learn about new packages and new APIs. It seems like these tools are very good at um, learning about like libraries or APIs or reading documentation for us and just give us good examples to, how to learn how to use it. So that's been another use case for me. Well, this is like a very slow workflow, I would say. I'm finding this to be a bit healthier. There's like a nice balance between not using AI and fully using it for these things. And this seems to be like the middle ground. It's a, such a balanced way to do it. I just want to make this video to challenge you to see if you can stop using Copilot or whatever you're using for like a week and then see if you can finish the code you're trying to write. And if not, maybe it's time to rethink how you're using these tools.